Hi, I'm Lisa Baldacchino, and I'm a product manager here at UpGuard looking after vendor risk. One of the most important parts of my job is making sure that we build products and features that help you run your vendor risk assessment program as effectively and efficiently as possible. I'm going to talk you through how to get set up in vendor risk and hit the ground running with your vendor management program, highlighting how a little bit of planning up front can help you achieve consistent and measurable results. Even if you already have an established program, hopefully today you will learn something new about how UpGuard can further optimise your workflows. It may sound obvious, but one of the first things you should do is get your list of vendors you need to monitor ready to load into UpGuard, including information that you need to manage your vendor relationship and risk management program. Compiling this information up front to import directly into UpGuard will help you quickly set up a program to suit your organisational needs and processes. Once you have your list of vendors and know what information that you need to store, UpGuard provides a range of tools to help you classify and store that information, which each play an important role in helping you streamline your risk assessment and vendor management workflows. Setting them up while you're establishing your program is ideal but they can be added at any time as your risk management program evolves and matures. Tiering is probably the first thing to establish up front and allows you to classify your vendors based on the level of risk that they pose to your organisation. For example, tier one vendors might be those that have access to your classified data. Tiering can form the framework for your risk assessment program by informing the depth of assessment you perform on each vendor but can also help you quickly get an accurate picture of the level of risk posed by your vendors and highlight risks for higher tiered vendors. You can do this quickly and easily by leveraging the risk by business impact matrix. Labels and custom attributes are a great way to help you easily filter and identify customers with certain characteristics. Labels are best used for binary characteristics like in use for active vendors, and network access or physical access to distinguish the access level a vendor has to your organisation and data. Custom vendor attributes allow you to store additional structured information to give you a more comprehensive view of your vendors. You can define the vendor attributes you need based on what information is important to you and your organisation and how you manage your vendors. Some good examples of custom attributes would be internal owner, contract end date or cost centre, or perhaps adding a unique identifier against each vendor. Adding this attribute information into UpGuard means that you can manage your vendor relationship from the platform and do away with separate vendor lists and manual reconciliation between systems. This should be enough to get you started, but if your list of vendors is large and your organisation is complex, you may also want to set up vendor portfolios, which can be used to help specific user groups within your organisation understand the risk profile of vendors only relevant to them. For example, you may want to create a portfolio for each department or for each region. This classification information can all be imported with your vendor lists, and this is the easiest way to get your vendor information uploaded at scale and get you up and running quickly. Once you have your vendor information loaded into the platform and you've assigned your tiers, it will be much easier to plan out and get started with your vendor risk assessment program. Some of the questions that you should be asking at this time are, how often do I need to assess each vendor? Higher tiered vendors that pose high risk to your organisation will usually warrant more frequent assessment. What level of assessment do I need for each vendor? Full assessments, including questionnaires, will most likely only be required for higher risk vendors, while for lower tiered vendors, you may only need to review automated scanning results and publicly available security information or certificates. Are there any specific industry requirements or standards that I need to adhere to? If so, you may need to choose a questionnaire or chase certification information that aligns with those standards. The risk assessment framework within the UpGuard platform allows you to conduct and keep a structured record of assessments and manage and track your program. 
and gives you the flexibility to conduct the level of assessment that you need for each vendor. The best way to get started is simply to jump in and do an initial risk assessment based on the information that you already have at hand for a given vendor. So you can see how their security posture changes over time as you work with the vendor to make improvements. Launch your risk assessment for the selected vendor from the summary screen. Review the automated scanning risk provided by the platform. Attach and review any existing evidence that you have for the vendor, such as certificates and security information, which may actually save you time having to chase that information from the vendor later. You can then use your comments section to comment on the current level of risk and the target level of risk that you want to achieve. Capture any recommendations, including follow-up activity you want to conduct with that vendor, such as remediation requests or questionnaires or chasing additional evidence. Set a reassessment date based on the target date for completing the recommendations and based on your preferred assessment cadence. Now you have a point in time view of your vendor's risk profile and a documented plan to improve it. Performing ongoing risk assessments should ensure you have a comprehensive understanding of your vendor's security posture and how it changes over time. And this process is easily repeatable across your vendors. Today, I have shared with you how easily you can get started with your vendor assessment program to quickly realise value and get on your way to getting the most out of the UpGuard platform. If you have any questions, please ask them in the Q&A or contact support at upguard.com. Thank you for listening.